Welcome to the mayor and council meeting. Um, it's September 19th, 2024, 7.30 p.m. Linda, will you please call the meeting to order and read the Open Public Meetings Act announcement? In compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act, the notice requirements have been satisfied. The meeting dates for the year are confirmed at the annual meeting, are posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and on the borough website, published in the record within the first 10 days of the new year, and copies are sent to the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger. Notice of this meeting by the September 11th, 2024 Sunshine Notice was sent to the record, the Ridgewood News and Star Ledger, and has been posted on the public bulletin board in the municipal building and borough website. Councilman Deluisio. Here. Councilwoman Homan. Councilwoman Lovasolo. Councilman O'Connell. Councilman O'Toole. Here. Councilman Yaccarino. Here. Mayor Wozinski. Here. Everybody, please stand to salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, and, America. and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. We have approval of minutes next, September 5th, work and regular meeting. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. All right, next we have a proclamation recognizing the month of September as Hunger Action Month. This is something we started last year, right? Did we start last year? Yeah. Two years? Um, and it actually was a great success, so we are going mm -hmm. to do it again um, for people actually bring their food to Borough Hall. Yep. So I will I read the proclamation. Whereas hunger and food insecurity are a reality for far too many of our neighbors, and whereas those who are food insecure are without reliable access to adequate amount of affordable, nutritious food, food insecurity can affect anyone, whether they are recently unemployed, underemployed, or supporting a large family. And whereas... Food insecurity is a symptom of broader challenges, such as unemployment, disability, retirement, or unforeseen financial hardships. And whereas those who do not have their basic needs met are further hampered in their path towards self-sufficiency. And whereas ongoing economic instability has increased food insecurity amongst individuals and families throughout Bergen County and across the county. And whereas food pantries in Bergen County have experienced an approximately 22% increase of need for food assistance. And whereas there are residents in every municipality in Bergen County who receive SNAP SNAP benefits, illustrating that this is an issue impacting residents all over Bergen County. And whereas economic coattails of the pandemic are long and despite the end of federal and state emergency declarations, tremendous needs still exist within our community. And whereas the Bergen County Food Security Task Force was established to support food pantries in Bergen County by increasing the supply of healthy food options, connecting those in need to vital services and investing in long-term infrastructure to build a more resilient pantry network to ensure no one in Bergen County goes hungry. And whereas Bergen County Food Security Task Force has been incorporated into the Department of Human Services as the new Office of Food Security to reaffirm that the county's commitment to fighting hunger continues past the pandemic. And whereas the energy, philanthropy, and hands-on effort of a multitude of volunteers throughout the county make a tremendous impact in combating hunger in our community and are vital in meeting the struggles of our neighbors with compassion. And now therefore be it resolved that the mayor and council hereby recognize the month of September 2024 as Hunger Action Month in the borough of Allendale and encourages all Bergen County residents to support their local food pantries. Be it further resolved that the borough of Allendale is committed to ending hunger in Bergen County and will spread awareness and increase engagement in our community to solve this problem by hosting a food drive through the month of October at Borough Hall for the center uh, for for the center of action, it's actually it's missing. Yeah, for the center of food action. Oh. It's okay. Um, so this was actually yes, a great success last year. I remember there was the the borough hall offices were just packed with food. So um, it's true. If the basic needs aren't met, you really can't do the old um, you know math or security. Um, so 
Um, I'm very happy that we're doing this and we can do our part and uh, be of service. Our residents always turn out to help when holiday okay. observers put out something there. It's always full. That's yep. great. Yeah. And sometimes it's just neat. You need that um, <clears throat> convenience, right, to to do it like if, so it's nice and local. So we will, Mayor, we will have um, a box in the lobby area of Borough Hall. OK, um, great. For collection Perfect. Um, through October. Thank great. you very much. All right, I'm going to review the agenda very quickly. We have two ordinances. One ordinance is to amend uh, Chapter 53, which is our salary, wages, and compensation. Um, so what we're doing here is combining um, uh, some of our services for uh, Kevin Todd. So he's our fire official, and he's also going to um, be a part of um, other uh, code official services. And then our second ordinance, 24-16, one six is establishing business insurance registry in the borough of Allendale. Would you like to speak to this at all, Linda? Or? It's just the requirement um, that you know it's for businesses and for um, landlords. Just tidying up our records. Yeah, so we're going to put a letter out to um, to all the businesses and right. in town, and um, they'll have to get that to us. You know all the necessary information, and we have the module on yep. pilot. So all that records. Excellent. Thanks for handling that. Okay, and then we have our consent agenda. These are uh, routine and they're usually enacted in one motion. I like to review some of them, um, but there's not really any interesting ones here. <laughs> cancellation of taxes, um, authorizing cancellation of outstanding check. We are actually appointing a couple new crossing guards and we had an overpayment of taxes. Not my, not my house. Um, and then again, the authorization to hire uh, Kevin Todd as the as the C C O inspector, as I just mentioned in our ordinance. And also, we have a, a new intern um, in the police department, um, so that's always good. All right. So now I would like to open the meeting for public comment on anything, please. Mana. Good evening, Mayor and Council. Mark Savastano, 22 Vreeland Place. Um, Mayor and Council, I just wanted to give an update to the activities of the Green Team from the summer. Super. Yeah, at, uh, we've been very busy. And um, I came up with an idea that I've investigated uh, to collect pumpkins and gourds, corn stalks, and mums. And yeah. um, I've approached Rosslers and Borst to be locations for the collections and they were very enthusiastic about the idea so uh i think that's going to be quite a bit of weight that will be kept out of the trash stream and also that's all compostable material so it'll just be returned to the earth where it does its job instead of riding in a landfill um, we have um, made contact or i should say contact was made to us from two students from uh, the uh, Northern Highlands, and uh, they were interested in joining the green team. Um, and I invited them to come and speak before the council at the next meeting. Uh, hopefully that will be a meeting where everybody is present. Um, Brithy Vedum and Will Scripak. Either you're going to bring them to this meeting? Yes. Oh, great. Yes. Uh, I said that would be a great way to introduce themselves sure. and uh, uh, introduce their interest in and sustainability. Um, Will is actually a scout who helped us out over the summer with one of our EPS styrofoam collections and came with us to Richville Park and helped us uh, densify the material. Okay. Um, and that helped fulfill part of his uh, uh, Eagle Scout project. Um, and uh, I had originally suggested to him about the pumpkin collection, but it seems they, they won't get approval in time to have it happen. It won't happen before Halloween, the approval. So he's going to be part of it. Uh, he has promised to have scouts there as uh, volunteers. And that prompted younger scouts to start contacting the green team. And uh, we are just becoming more popular and more well known. And, and that really and hip, you're hip. All the high school kids want to yes. join. Yes. So we have lots of volunteers going forward. Um, also, uh, I want to commend 
Andy and his uh, new staff members. I've been to the recycling center a number of times, and they've helped me recover a great deal of the EPS from the dumpster there. People are bringing it there, hoping to recycle it, and of course, they're told we don't accept it. So uh, Jim, one of the new employees, gave me a pitchfork to grab it out of the dumpster. So that was, uh, <laughs> I, I filled up several bags of them with the material and we brought it for recycling. Um, he has since offered that we can put some type of container there and uh, we can collect it outside of the dumpster, which of course would be preferable to me as well. <laughs> I'll tell you better. But um, um, yeah, so the, a little bit more on that collection, we're going to have two, one immediately after Halloween and one immediately following Thanksgiving, the Saturdays following the uh, the holidays. So uh, we'll be busy planning, putting up posters, and uh, hopefully get uh, some traction through. Make sure you uh, get us something for our newsletter. Yes, for the newsletter, for the website, uh, for 07401. And uh, well, hope to see you there for a photo opportunity as well. But uh, thanks for hearing me out. And uh, the green team continues to be very active in town. Excellent. Thanks, thanks for all thanks, your work, Mark. Mark. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Anybody else from the audience wishing to speak? Not seeing anyone. I'll bring the meeting back. <clears throat> so now we will introduce Ordinance 24-15. <clears throat> Linda, will you please read the title? Ordinance 25-15, an ordinance to amend Chapter 53 of the Code of the Borough of Allendale, officers and employees, to fix the salaries, wages, and compensation of the officers and employees of the Borough of Allendale for the year 2024. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second, please. Second. Um, sorry. Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. Ordinance 24-15 has now been introduced upon first reading and will be published in the Wednesday, September 25th edition of the record and will take will be taken up for further consideration and final passage at the regular meeting of the Mayor and Council on October 3rd, 2024 at 7.30 p.m. or soon thereafter. Thank you. Um, next, I'd like to introduce Ordinance 24-16. Please, Linda, read the title. Ordinance 24-16, an ordinance establishing business insurance registry in the borough of Allendale. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second, please. Second. Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. Ordinance 24-16 has now been introduced upon first reading and will be published in the Wednesday, September 25th edition of the record and will be taken up for further consideration and final passage at a regular meeting of the mayor and council on October 3rd, 2024 at 7.30 p.m. or soon thereafter. Well, thanks very much. Um, next, we have the consent agenda. Do I have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second, please. Second. <laughs> Councilman Delavisio? Yes. Councilman O'Toole? Yes. Councilman Yaccarino? Yes. All right, council report, Councilman Yaccarino. Thank you, Mayor. I'll Keep it brief this evening. We had our Crestwood end of season okay. meeting with myself. Um, Andy had also provided uh, some input before the meeting and uh, the mayor and myself. Um, we had a lot of different topics to cover, including operations. Key topics included uh, membership trends, year over year revenue, um, expenditures, water quality, staffing, and events. And on that topic, we'd like to extend our gratitude to Tierney Pogi, who will be resigning as our Crestwood events coordinator. She's been a longtime employee of Crestwood Lake and Started with Crestwood as a lifeguard and, you know, since moved up to working with the events through the lake. Uh, so we wish her very well. So next year we'll be looking to uh, either have somebody within Borough Hall take over events or maybe we'll just uh, do that within committee. Um, regarding the concession stand, we anticipate the opening of submitted bids next week. We're very excited for that. I'd like to thank Andy and the DPW for working to make improvements on our fields based off of feedback from the Allendale Sports Alliance. Um, one of the fields or two fields rather that we're working on are the football field and the soccer field that we're working on making improvements. Um, and one of the resolutions out of the last Allendale Sports Alliance meeting was to close the West Maple Field so that we can continue to make more extensive improvements long term. 
Uh, special thanks to Allison for continuing our efforts improving our facilities here in Borough Hall. Uh, we collaborated with Hickey Electric to move some of our communications, infrastructure, and equipment from the clerk's office to a more secure location, ensuring compliance with uh, GIF cyber standards. And finally, the New Jersey Motor Vehicle Real ID event at the Firehouse last week, two days, went off with no issues. Thank you, to Andy, for facilitating that. And then our next motor vehicle event will be another inspection event on October 4th at Crestwood. Cranking those out. Thank you. you. It's a great yeah, program it's a great, in our residents. Honestly, thank you so much for you know initiating that. It really is a great program, and residents love it because everybody knows what a nightmare it is to go down to the DMV. So. Yeah. It's well, a it was real also pace. super fast. When yeah, I, right. And I was in and out in 13 minutes. I need, can, I, don't wanna, can I, you get me an appointment? We're, we're, we're going to, so like I said, October 4th is the next inspection. <laughs> we're going to probably do another real ID in December. Yeah, that's what we And doing. I hear I need through the rumor mill that the state is going to be postponing the implementation yet again. Yet again. So anyway, that's all. Surprising. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, pretty brief report this evening. As I mentioned in our last meeting, due to the very busy nature of September, our meeting was pushed a month, so we met this past Monday. Um, our two new officers have finished their field training, so they are out on the streets doing policing things, keeping the borough safe. Um, we discussed the new crossing guards, the new spots. Everything is working out very well. A couple of minor adjustments to be made. Um, we discussed our perennial issue of downtown parking uh, with the new officers. That should help to alleviate some of the issues that we're seeing down there. Um, as you mentioned in the consent agenda, we have a new police intern. He's working with the OEM. And finally, next Thursday, Walter, is the blood drive at the firehouse from 1 to 7 p.m. Um, the AB&G is partnered with us on this one and they're offering a pint for a pint. So a pint of blood for a <laughs> pint of beer or a glass of wine or a soft drink. And uh, we're very happy. Right to your head, right? Wouldn't you think? Well, I don't think you, that's why they give you a voucher and they don't just yeah, give you a yeah. on over walk the out the door. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want to do with your voucher. But, uh, I'm very happy to say that uh, once again, the scouts will be helping out uh, at the blood drive. So come on out and roll up your sleeves. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Councilman Delavisio. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, since our last meeting, the DPW committee did not meet. Uh, just quick conversations with our superintendent, uh, Andy Agugliero. Uh, the DPW is continuing their regular duties. We appreciate all their efforts. I know they're prepping uh, Crestwood for, you know, the draining of the lake and, uh, you know, preparing the final closing of everything. Uh, they continue to maintain fields, as Councilman Yaccarino mentioned, and uh, our new mechanic is working out very well. He's uh, acclimating well to the borough, and uh, we're very happy to have him on board. So that's pretty much my report for tonight. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Staff reports, Linda, our clerk. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, on September 12th, I attended the New Jersey Film Ready Workshop in Trenton. Um, there, the program is a multi-step training and certification process, um, which helps areas in the municipalities to prepare and market themselves as film destinations. The Film Ready program is part of the New Jersey Motion Pictures and Television Commission, which is under the New Jersey Economic Development Authority. The program is helping the state's film industry grow by giving municipalities and counties the tools needed to welcome top tier productions to their communities. Uh, the benefits of of this program is um, that Allendale will be tagged as located in a film ready community in Real Scout um, online li library. Um, we'll, we'll have unlimited access to Real Scout to upload location photos um, on a rolling basis. It creates opportunities for local small minority and women owned businesses. Um, also the, the Allendale will also um, attain film ready community status recognition um, also be able to put the um, film ready new jersey logo on the website the borough oh, right. website um, so what i've been doing is um, i took a sample ordinance that they provided us okay. and then our current ordinance and i'm just going through and i'm comparing and making changes and updating Excellent. it thank you and then i have to submit that to the commission first okay for them to go over it before we can introduce it okay and um amanda already got um 
ahead on just listing some uh, locations. Mm -hmm. So what she did is um, we got Crestwood Lake. Mm -hmm. We got Crestwood Lake. We got the Bell House. We're not really sure. Mm -hmm. um, no, that's a good one. We got West Allendale Ave. Uh, you know, all the, that whole area. Mm -hmm. Celery Farm, we're not sure. Um, and the grandstand. Mm -hmm. And um, what she did is she provided an, a brief um, description of each. Okay. So this way, when the photos are uploaded onto that website, it just well, gives it. So this way, when the scouts go on, yeah. and if they're looking for something in particular, they can just go through everything Excellent. and say, Hey, it's right here in Allendale. So she, one of her, the things that she really liked is possibly the grandstand because it's, she said that that would like be it. like a yeah. good yeah. Um, movie. It totally would, yeah. For like, you know, being there as well. So, um, so once, you know, we're just, we're going to wrap that up and start that as soon as we can. No, thank you. This is something I've been um, talking about for a while because we were at one meeting um uh, I guess in AC, where they were talking about how Netflix is moving to Monmouth. So this is just a really good opportunity for the borough. As we know, boroughs don't have a lot of opportunity to make revenue. Mm -hmm. And to kind of get a jump ahead of it, um, I was at a mayor's meeting where the county was saying that they did, um, what's that movie? Um, not head, not um, with Adam Sandler? That's Happy good. Gilmore. They were doing it at one of the county parks. And they had it was because they were film ready they actually extended their filming time, so they made a lot of actually revenue. So we're gonna be film ready, and we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be ready for all the movie stars that come to Allendale. If it's not too disruptive, sometimes it is very disruptive. So we have to balance that with public right, safety, right. of course. And I'll and I'll um, run it through Ray's office as well before okay. beforehand just to kind of make the final touches. Great. Well, it was a lot of fun when they filmed Presumed Innocent here. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Our superintendent of the DPW, Andy Gugliera. And I do have my lot of technical staff here that you ready to roll. Thank you. Um, I must echo what Tyler said about how Borough Hall looks. looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, kudos to Allison for that. It looks amazing. Um, our new Borough mechanic, CJ, is working out phenomenally, as is uh, Joey and Drew. Um, part one of two of our streetscape project has started today. So, um, they mobilized. Um, hope everybody liked the upgrades to the 9 11 uh, memorial. Beautiful. Yep. I think it was beautiful. Um, did receive a lot of comments on it. Um, DPW is preparing fields for the full sporting events, which are underway. Um, we have added a new half flag football field across from the uh, park inside Crestwood Lake. Um, they finished that up yesterday. Wait, wait, where? Uh, right across the street from the uh, park inside Crestwood. Where the kid park is. Finish fields? No, when, you, no, no, no. when you're driving up, you're going to the you're red barn, you have the playground on the left, and there's an open lot on the right. Oh. You put a half a football field in. Good? Yeah. Oh, I saw kids playing there last week. Why would you use junior football? Um, Because we, we're shifting fields around. It's going to take West Maple out of service for rehab. And did not know that. Um, this is what the, uh, the ASA folks had requested. So that's going to take up parking and I guess right if we have events that's where we sometimes park but I guess it's in the fall well, it's so only it's so bad fall. yeah okay. um so the lower multi-purpose field was converted to a soccer field and we as of Monday we're taking out the West Maple field that is service to free time um like Tyler said um and lastly we started decommissioning uh press the link so and prepping the new uh it's not like you were just filling it up I know right all right, our attorney Ray West. You haven't been busy at all. Yeah, a couple of things have gone on. <laughs> um, continue to work on the uh, the after the closing matters on the sale of the water utility, including a uh, meeting this evening with uh, with Mayor and Councilwoman Holman. Uh, Mayor signed a couple of uh, easement agreements this evening, so uh, uh, we work with the Olias Council in trying to get uh, that done. Uh, we've also had meetings uh, involving the Mayor, Councilwoman Holman, uh, Andy, myself, Mike Freeland. Uh, working on the diversion process and uh, on tonight's agenda, um, resolution uh, 232 was hiring an environmental consultant uh, to do an assessment of the site on New Street that we're proposing to uh, to dedicate to passive recreation as part of the diversion process with Green Acres. Uh, we met earlier this evening in the same group uh, to discuss uh, 
some ongoing uh, sewer-related issues with our neighbors in Saddle River. Uh, and that, uh, I, I suppose, will be a focus of some continuing discussions going forward. Uh, some conversations with Chief Dillon on some departmental matters. Uh, we've had some certain things involving the uh, the bylaws and related items at the fire department. Uh, affordable housing, as uh, the mayor has previously reported, the borough has uh, joined in the litigation uh, in which uh, Montvale is the lead agency. Um, that complaint has been filed. Uh, we're in communication with the attorney that is representing the group. He provided a, actually a status update this morning that I shared with the mayor. Um, I think the uh, litigation is actually in its very formative stage. Uh -huh. uh, the state is not due to respond uh, until about mid-October, um, and then it'll take shape. Uh, I was told by uh, uh, TJ and Tom today that uh, the leases on the cell tower are, are in circulation pending signature, so hopefully that revenue stream will be uh, uh, come on board shortly. And lastly, while I had reported that the settlement conference on PK was supposed to have taken place earlier this month, Unfortunately, the attorney for PK uh, was hospitalized, uh, so the uh, conference was put off to October 28th. That's it, Mayor. That's it. All right. And my report. <clears throat> uh, 210 West Crescent, our community center is coming along nicely. Um, I think everybody in the um, council has actually seen it now. Um, we are um, putting up, we just put up our TVs, our security is currently going in and actually our new entrance system um, is going in. We're working on systems and operations and procedures and regulations in, in Borough Hall. Um, we have to put signage up. We have to figure out a lot of stuff before it's actually open uh, to the community, including buying some furniture. So we're still hoping it's going to maybe a, a soft opening by the end of the year, but definitely by the beginning of 2025. Uh, the 9-11 ceremony was beautiful. Um, Tim LaTurner was a great speaker. It's always the most beautiful ceremony. Um, so this year was no different. And thank you for making it look so beautiful. Um, the residents really appreciate it. They come all day to reflect. So it's um, it's really important that that looks so nice as it did. Uh, we have Allendale Day this uh, Saturday. So the borough will have a booth. Um, in the spirit of keeping uh, government transparent, we are going to try to sign everybody and anybody up for our, our newsletter and for constant contact and for Facebook and Instagram. We are just pushing information out there. And if you don't have a computer, we'll even mail the newsletter to you. There's so much great information in our newsletter. I write a mayor's report every month. I'm constantly sending out uh, memos and updates. So um, everybody should be informed about everything in the borough. Um, and um, if you don't want to read it, I guess you don't have to, but it's out there. I read it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we had our third um, of our four town halls uh, this week, and this one was on deer management. As I mentioned, um, it is one of the most um, talked about topics in town. It's the, one of the biggest complaints that I get from residents, uh, but it's also a very emotional and triggering topic for a lot of people. So I brought in the DEP, the uh, Department of Environmental Protection, and Tyco, who is our um, animal control um, company, who are literally the boots on the ground, to explain and give facts, just objective facts um, on, on things that we could do to help control the, the deer population. Um, at one point in the meeting, I asked, I think there was probably about 75 people here, I asked who is um, in favor of deer management. Um, and I would say 90% of the people raised their hand or even more. So. Um, it is something that people, it's just gotten out of control, unfortunately. And quite frankly, it's something I wish we didn't have to do. But um, I think the numbers are out there and it's getting its getting a little scary. The the car accidents are getting scary. It's its actually not really very humane for the deer either that are getting killed by cars and are maimed and um, hobbling around with broken legs and stuff. So um, to be continued. <laughs> so we'll continue also to update everybody on that. And our streetscape, um, our sixth or seventh phase of the streetscape started today. So that's on Central uh, Drive. That's going to go along the street by the train station. And then after that, it's going to be De Mercurio. And then we have one other little section on De Mercurio, and then we're done. So our downtown's looking really spiffy. It's just in time for filming. <laughs> Film ready. Film ready. Film and that is my report <laughs> for the day. Any questions? All right. Um, any unfinished business or new business? I'd like to open up the meeting to the public on any comments, any matter. Anybody from the public? Walter, come on up. 
on that wall. Walter in the 38 Hamilton. I got a couple of quick questions. Sure. What's the success of the blood drive? How successful is it? It's very successful. So in our little, uh, in our drive last, the last drive, I think we had 39 people, uh, each, you know, pint is capable of saving three lives. So oh, we did all right that day. That. That's great. Um, overall, he's doing exceptionally well. He's running about 60 drives a year now. Our next question is curiosity. These proclamations which you read. Why do I say we're asking? <laughs> what is your function? Oh, it's um the function of a proclamation. Well, maybe you could help me with this. It's, it's like an honor. Um, it's an honor for um, a declaration to honor either an event or a person. Can I yeah, that, right? and this way, when they're read at a public meeting, they're in the public record. So, so for organizations who are having these read in multiple places, it also gives them the ability to say, we're recognized by the borough of Allendale, by the county of Bergen, by the state of New Jersey, whatever the case is. So it's, you know, noteworthy causes or events, uh, and then the mayor reads them into the public record. And it gives the organization something that validifies it a little bit as well. And uh, I sign it and we give this sometimes to the organization. Some people hang them up, you know, or. Is that a voluntary procedure or mandated or what? Oh, no, it's not mandated. No, sort of it's just something. It's, it's actually one of the nicer things we do, quite frankly. You answered one of the questions I had. That's basically it. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Walter. Thank you. Thank you. Walter, I, I had one for the board workers just to recognize all their hard work. So it's really just to kind of like honor, you know, the board workers for their hard work and long hours and, you know, things like that. So good. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else from the public wish to speak? Not seeing anyone. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Good night, everybody. Bye.